Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? It's your boy Gavin Asner here again with you and for this video we're gonna be talking about the melting machine which is the K10. Now this gun is a submachine gun that is exclusive only to the mechanic class in Battlefield Hardline and I know a lot of people used it in the beta and it was like really really good and people really enjoyed using that gun and I didn't really use it all that much in the beta because I was just like too busy using assault rifles and all that sorts of stuff but I picked up this gun after release and oh my god it just destroys and like there's a few people that I know that don't really use this gun and when they tried it out they were just blown away by how good it is it is an amazing gun this gun will suck you dry and eat some lunch with you it is just phenomenal now to talk about the stats on this gun uh, first off just one of the things that I really like about this gun and probably one of its best advantages there's actually two I want to say first is the hip fire it has a really really good hip fire and the spread is really low on the hip fire you can just just destroy people at close range it's not no contest and the second thing which honestly is probably the best attribute to it is the rate of fire this gun has a 1200 rpm which is just insane like no other gun can compare and honestly that's kind of what gives it its edge because when you're in close range sometimes the matter of life and death is just how how fast you can put bullets into an enemy so it has a high really high time to kill and it that is what makes it the k10 the high fire rate is what sets it above the rest now i want to take a look at the damage model i'll leave a link in the description and i got all of this from simthic.com it has all the weapons in hardline and the other battlefield series with their damage uh rate of fire muzzle velocity all that kind of good stuff but i'll read it off for you guys so it starts off with the 34 damage maximum which is a three shot kill at its effective range now the drop off starts for this right after 10 meters so you don't get much room to like you don't get much leeway with this gun but it does a really good job and it ends at about 30 meters which the minimum is 12 so it's going to be like a nine shot kill to, to take somebody down which is, is a lot but if you're playing game modes such as blood money uh, that such sort you'll be in close range all the time and you won't really have to worry about it and if an enemy's hit a little bit it, it will never take that nine bullets I've rarely ran into the that situation now one of the downsides to this gun which is what I think is how uh, the creators like not nerfed it but just balanced the weapon is the clip size it is only a 26 round clip and there's no options for extended mags I was a little bit disappointed just because you, you burn through that ammo so fast with the 1200 rounds per minute but it, it's only fair because if you had like you know a 34 round clip it would just be kind of OP at that point but honestly, it's not even that hard getting even up to a triple kill with this gun in one clip. It's been done. It's just a little bit more difficult. They have to be all lined up next to each other. But this gun just drops people. Like I said, you will, you can kill people with only 10 bullets in your clip. I've gotten double kills with only 10 bullets in my clip. So honestly, as long as you stick close to somebody and real close quarters, that's my biggest recommendation. You will have no problem with this gun. Now, the recoil with this gun is pretty much virtually none I really like this gun in terms of the recoil when you're aiming down sight and shooting it, do it doesn't feel like it it bounces too much and there's no grip option neither would I say you would really need one you could just run it like that and it's, it, it does a really good job on its own now in terms of sights that I like to use for this gun I would either use like a Cobra sight or I use the micro t1 which is kinda like a smaller red dot that you can see through and you'll see in this gameplay what it looks like and then it comes with the laser which I just kind of left it there because it does help your hip fire it doesn't help all that much but I mean the more the merrier so I use that and lastly for the barrel I would either use for the most part I use the heavy barrel but sometimes I occasionally put on the silencer the silencer does screw up the range a little bit and and kind of makes your weapon a little bit weaker and screws up the accuracy so sometimes I, I just kinda like to stay away from it so, unless I'm just no I'm trying to be stealthy I'll just use the heavy barrel cuz it gives you all that extra benefits for your range and all that and it just makes this gun a little bit better than just how it is stock as I was saying some game modes that you're gonna wanna play with this gun would be something like blood money or team deathmatch those are really good close quarters and especially with there being 64 
player team death matches there will not be you will not have a hard time finding enemies but the only problem which i've seen other stuff on it and team deathmatch it seems like the spawns are a little bit broken so you might want to watch out for that there's a lot of like randomness where you with you spawning and sometimes you'll even spawn literally looking at an enemy so it, that might get a little bit frustrating so my big recommendation would be stick to blood money it is a really fun game mode you'll have a lot of fun with the k10 and especially when there's there's a lot of enemies going towards the money pile and even just sitting there not even paying attention you can just easily just destroy like three or four guys no problem with the k10 and um, the other thing you might want to watch out for with the K10 is the reload times. It has a ridiculously fast reload time. So for your fast reload, which is if you still have a bullet in your in your gun while you're reloading, you're looking at 1.5 seconds. And then your long reload is going to be significantly longer compared to that 1.5 at 2.23. But honestly, it's not even all that bad because it even beats some of the reload times for, for the short reloads on the other gun. So overall, really, really good gun. I would definitely recommend you go try it if you haven't already. And that's pretty much what I have for this video for you guys. If you enjoyed this video at all, please leave a like. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment what you guys want to see next. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And as usual, you guys have a good one.